Brought to you by AwesomeDrinks.com. Use coupon code FATHERS14 and save 15% off everything in the store. Put down your bush spray! You don't got West Nile, it's time to make a cocktail! We have Ian Andrews with us today. <laughs> Next week, with chicken kung yong. No chicken kung yong, or whatever she just <laughs> said. making up Japanese words. <laughs> oh, it's, we got chicken kung yong because I'm going to get it. <laughs> yeah, it got a little white box like this little mouth thing. No, this is called the John Black, or Jean Black, Jean Black, we decided, right? Jean, sure. Uh, for, submitted by it. Jean. I named it because the guy's name was Jean or Jean Hughes. Jean Hughes. Either way, Jean is going to be what it looks like. This cocktail has a whole bunch of stuff. Two ounces of Captain Morgan We Black. are going bottom of the barrel, meaning there are three barrels and we're at the bottom of all of them. Not that we're using bad stuff. No, nope, but that's all that's left of yeah. that one. So we're going to see what we can kill off. Because <laughs> Ian's finishing it. Because Ian's finishing it. Uh, two ounces of Captain Morgan Black. Now, if you don't have Captain Morgan Black, use Kraken. If you don't have Kraken, use something Goslings. that's black. Use something spiced in black. Yeah, Goslings is a spice, but it's good. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, Whatever. She, yeah, you get the idea. Substitute at will. Half ounce amaretto. Half ounce amaretto. Called for Luxardo. You see that in the recipe at the end, right? When it goes critical hit, baby. But this is what we're using because that's what it called for. You Luxardo's great. can use whatever you'd like. You can use Lazzaroni if you want. You can use Lazzaroni if you want. You could use... Uh, you could use... Uh, other stuff. Yep. <laughs> An ounce Diamore. of Woodford. Diamore. Diamore. That, my friends, is Woodford Reserve. It called for that as well, and I knew I had a little bit left, apparently. Just or a little. the big one that's all yeah, right. you got to finish that off. No, there's enough there for another drink. You do, you have, do you have another one? No, but I got shit, 700 balls on the floor I need to find a place for. Okay. Um, seriously, there's three rows of alcohol on the floor. And I don't have a place to put it. stuff I do for Derek. Because there's no shelf space. Then... We're probably going to do this last. We're going to do a quarter ounce. A quarter? Yes, these are run up. That's what I said. Yeah, you're, just, you're yeah. just going to use a quarter of that. Then we're going to do two dashes of grapefruit bitters. We're using Scrappy's grapefruit bitters. If you don't have Scrappy's, you can use my friends, some Fee Brothers. These don't have alcohol in them. They use um, glyce glycerin instead. Glycerin? Is it glycerin? Okay. Kind of like an alcohol? Kind of like the Bush song? Yeah, glycerine. Um, and then we're gonna shake the shit out of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. You can yeah, reference songs, Ian, so and Derek later. will get it. There's Four no ounces. movies. No, do I have just, songs? Can I we, don't have a glass. Can we ice the shit out of this? Oh, I could. Or maybe just a little bit of ice. We don't yeah. have to ice the shit out of it. Good, because I don't really have a lot of ice left. Oh, three's a lot. Do you want one back? No, too I late. I can get it. I'm fine here. Uh, we'll put it in this big ass highball glass. And, and why didn't we add the four ounces of coke? Yeah, Derek? Because you didn't want explosions! Exactly. What happens when you shake a carbonated beverage in a compressed container? It builds up pressure. <laughs> and pressure causes leakage. And Have you not watched Deadliest so, Catch? So does oleo. Remember that stuff? It was a fat substitute they started putting in lays. Oleo causes anal leakage. Anal leakage. leakage. Anal leakage. You don't want any of that. So the difference in, in these two bitters, if you want to pick the pick up from cost wise, this is probably like Are we gonna under, top with under or do you want bucks. Put, you want the four ounces in here now? No, just put it here and then we'll top it. Okay. Uh, top you, we can even give it a little stir if I had a, hey, a stir a device. Good. We'll use my fingy. Uh, do you have a yeah? Do you have a <laughs> stir over there, Jennifer? Maybe we won't use my fingy. Uh, We're gonna do yeah. four ounces of Coke. I ran out of Coke, but I have a Soda Stream with the Coke, coke substitute. The the natural the Coke. coke. The one that doesn't have um, high fructose or any of that craziness. Two. Ooh, nice one. Good choice. Good spoon. I just picked the first one I saw. Professional bar spoon, available at Austin Race. Uh, it's good, got good weight to it. Yes. I, I, I like this. You know what I like about it, though? Is it's all one piece. Yeah. It's not a It doesn't have the fab. cap on the end. Yeah. The Which, you know, the difference is, is cost, which is kind of where I'm going with this. Um, if you're looking, f if you just want grapefruit bitters, you'll find that these ones will work fine. They're under, I think, I want to sell for nine bucks, ten bucks, something like that. Easy. These ones go for 19. It's definitely a small batch, more rich flavor, very highly rated, but you're paying for what you get. Uh, mm -hmm. And fee will work. If you're a bar, yep. fees is great because you go through yeah, a whole you go through a ton. Of volumes. Yeah. If you're doing this on your own, you're trying to just be like. Depending on the type of bar. If you're like drink in Boston, you're yeah, probably going to be using true. the good stuff because that's a great bar. Right. And we've got like tons of bars end. that buy bitters from us and 
And we, we have, have a ton. Like in, in our area, we're in the greater Boston area. I mean, we're yeah. north of Boston, but Boston has some great bars, I think. Right, and they buy, some of them buy from us, but I know even event coordinators, they're buying, they were buying lavender bitters mm. by the case. Really? They, I don't think, they were using them for cocktails, but yeah. there are some people who use them for, um, like lavender and cardamom, they use them for pies and stuff like that. Oh, okay, cool. So they, I mean, it's it's like vanilla extract in the right. fact it's that it's an alcohol-infused yeah. flavor agent. So this, I get the Amarillo smell out of this. I'm going to hold this so that I remember I have to spit it out. Yeah. That's, why, that's why I grabbed it first, yeah. Oh. I smell the Coke, too. You smelled the Coke? You smell the Coke. Mm. Like, does it smell like... Coke. Like lines of it? Yep. Yeah. Lines of Coke syrup? Does it smell like cocaine to you? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was the oh, God, it's a freaking quote! This is the end. If you would have just... <laughs> it, hey, I does it smell like know. cocaine to you? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> you, um, how long are you going to harbor that? Like, what does it taste I'm like? I'm bogarting the shit out of this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I haven't gone through that much of it. It's not like you're know. downing it. It's That's scary if you don't know what it tastes like. You'll see what I mean. You see what I mean? Yeah, it's flat. Yeah. Um, it's weird, huh? Because it's... Is your soda stream flat? No. I just made it. It's carbonated. And maybe it's not as sweet as a real. There's like no carb. There's a little bit of carbonation. It's got the bitterness. Yeah, this is kind of flat. Is it? Mm. Not even carbonated enough. Or I, or it came. It, it was fizzing a little too much. A little flat. You want a question of the day? Yeah, but some people don't really mind it. Yeah. Like at that level. Of yeah, yeah, question this of the day. Uh, How did you find out you were interested in cocktails? How'd you find out you were interested in cocktails? I'm gonna guess you had one, but. Somebody might have a different story. Like making cocktails? Oh, yeah, probably more making more cocktails. More making and designing cocktails yeah, and, and like appreciating cocktails? Yeah. Actually, appreciating is probably... You know what? I would hang out with my boss quite a bit and he'd always... My boss and my girlfriend and his wife and... That's what you appreciate cocktails? We'd all get together and we just make drinks. And then right. I start coming on here. And then now you go back with a library of better yeah, ideas. Yeah, now I go back and I'm like, oh, we had this drink. It was great. We're going to try it. And I mean, they're always happy with something I bring right. back, so... Which is because we get people submitting drinks. Not necessarily yeah. all of them are the most fabulous drinks, but they all have something, something behind them. Um, this one, it, it's not like really. It doesn't have enough. There's a little bit of rum. Bourbon. I get the oakiness from the bourbon. A little bit of Luxardo, but it's not like not, no one of those stands out. No, I do get a, I get a lot of play on bitters in the back. Do you? Uh, like a, a little, little bit, yeah. A little bit of a. Uh, like a dirty grapefruit. If you told me to pick what was in there, I'd be like, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. know. I, don't tell you. I have uh, no idea. I might. I, you know what I'd actually say is almond syrup, but it's got all. I mean, it's mm. got amaretto. Um, but I think that's just the sugar playing with the al almond. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, there's a lot of soda in here, but yet there's also a lot of alcohol. I don't. I don't want to not like it. I just don't know what it but is. I don't know what to think about. You're it. right. There's two ounces of Captain Morgan in here. Yeah, there's rum in there. Where? What the hell? Like, Where'd it go? This is really dangerous. Because it. I mean, it, I can't tell. I'm not gonna say this is the. This has tons of flavor. It's. I'm gonna say it's a little bit boring to me. A little bit. I. But I can't put my finger on why. Like, there's no one thing about Did it that's bad. You get my bad. reaction now? Yeah. Well, I was like, I don't hmm. know. It. Okay. As somebody who's developed cocktails this week, there's no in, there's in, no base to this. The problem right? is, yes, there's no. It's it's so neutral. Yeah, very neutral. It does. It needs either an ounce or two of sour mix, something to yeah. give that citrus flavor. Um, Maybe some more lime juice. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, it can't hurt it, but I don't think there's enough lime to. No, there's not enough. It, it needs. The, the thing is, with the sour mix, you're getting the lemon, the lime, you're getting the, the sugars additive to it. Yeah. So and I don't think syrup. any brand of Coke would make a difference. I think original Coke may sh make it more sweet. What if it was but more carbonated? Sweet's not drawing yeah, out maybe the Maybe it was more carbonated. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. I, I don't feel like carbonation to me doesn't make a flavor. No, it doesn't. Right? But, so, but, well, it kind of does because it's like aerating the drink on your tongue. It's like, it's like when you... Uh, right, but what you're doing right there is aerating it, right? No, but you know when you like inhale and you like mist it into your mouth? Yeah. You get the flavors more. The carbonation can do that. But you're still... There's, 
needs to be more flavors to aerate. It does. It doesn't taste like a rum and coke either. I mean, I think that helped a little bit, but I don't even know. I'm not sure. Um, uh, I I would rather a rum and coke. Yeah. Or I'm getting a little bit of bourbon now. A little bit. And a little bit of sweetness and lime more. I mean, obviously, because that is some more. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, but, I don't know. I don't want to speak bad of it because there's it's nothing. It's just missing. It's just not exciting. It's missing yeah. a dimension that needs to be there. The, uh, or not, something has to be pulled out. Maybe there's just too many things. Maybe like, there is, yeah. Pull out the bourbon, leave in the rum, and call it a rum amaretto. Yeah, exactly. Take, take, out, take out the bourbon, leave the amaretto in there. Yeah, and the lime juice, maybe that could be it. And I mean, maybe the grapefruit is a little bit, I don't know. I don't the get... bitters could be dulling it down or yeah. something, but I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. It's either that or you go the opposite direction <coughs> and you go more sweet. <coughs> bring in a grenadine, uh, some flarinum syrup or something like that to to bring in those extra... Maybe an ounce of amaretto instead of half ounce. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It, re it would require a rebuild of I the think so, yeah. drink. Either that or less soda. Maybe it'll be more potent. <laughs> but, I mean, you're looking at three ounces of alcohol in here. I don't taste any. Three and a half, yeah. And I spit it out. I mean, this could be dangerous. Oh, no, no, no doubt. Definitely I mean, a dangerous drink. If you're, if if you're, you're literally fucked up and not really, like, you gag, what, yeah, if you, don't, you could chug these things. Yeah, scary. Don't Actually, do that. Yeah, I, I, I don't recommend. But you, but you could definitely, I mean, it has... Not saying I wouldn't have done that in the past, but I don't recommend it now. <laughs> well, I don't know. O old Ian does not recommend chugging. No. <laughs> Young Ian, on the other hand... Wouldn't give a fuck. He wouldn't even make cocktails. He'd be like, I give me a beer. Beer's already made for me. Young Ian would be like, why do you got to mix anything? Right. Why don't you just drink it straight? Right. Mixing is work. Right. I can just drink my 151, and I can drink my beer right after it and chase it with a little bit oh. of fire. Yeah. <laughs> you like to do fire. Get drunk enough to smoke. <laughs> right. Right. And climb the Dean's building. And climb All the kinds Dean's of building. weird things. All can sorts happen. of great. And we can go to Stone Willie's before they close. Yeah. Get some pizza. <laughs> yes! <laughs> well, that happens 18 inch. Oh, uh -huh. boy. <laughs> too many of those. Couple 18 inches. One for everybody. <laughs> Around for the house. For those of you who don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about pizza. 18 inches. Oh, yeah, I guess. Not the other thing that could be 18 inches if you're a freak of nature. Right. Mm -hmm. That if would be. If you're from Athens. Freak If you're from Athens. So at, at Athens, 18 inch, she comes from I guess stop drinking that just because it's there, there and you're gonna get wasted. All right, that's that's all that's young Ian's coming out right there. Yeah, like, well, I'm gonna give you this. Like, oh, I gravitate towards this drink and I get that. So, so you have your question today, you know where everydaydrinkers.com is located, you know how to get on YouTube, Facebook.com slash cocktail TV. Submit your recipes, dude. Don't forget uh, patreon.com. Patreon.com slash CMC. That is where you donate. donate. And if you want to submit recipes, recipe at everydaydrinkers.com is the email that you should use. People continue to. You should have not a link that. to all of your links. A link to all my links. Like, just go to bitly.com slash something and all of a sudden. Yeah, because you have like. A million places. Awesomedrinks.com. Oh! Comment cocktail. No problem. Every drinkers. You have it's Patreon. right in the freaking description. Recipes at every day. Oh, look it's at that. below. Oh, well, yeah. Imagine that. Even if you're on an iPod, mm. it just you can't Where do you on. submit recipes? recipes watch right the end of the watch yeah. the end of the video. Right. Tell you. Oh yeah, that right there. It's All like, this stuff's there. It's you there. just gotta read. Yeah. It's weird. I know. Not everybody can do that. Reading but, sucks. Reading does suck. I don't know. It can be fun. But I winning. read all the time. Reading sucks, but winning is awesome. We're winners. Anyway. Reading sucks and soda vacuums. Cause we're teaching how to drink! Brought to you by AwesomeDrinks.com. Use coupon code FATHERS14 and save 15% off everything in the store.